Another protest. This is what citizens of Makanda have woken up to. Acrid smoke filled skies, children on streets, public order policing are all becoming the norm in Makanda. Residents are tired of open flowing sewerage, gaping potholes and dry taps. Nothing is happening. We are all fed up. We are struggling. There's no one that can help us. We voted our mayor in, but he refuses to come to us. How? Why doesn't he come to us? Why must he go talk at the monument? Schools have closed, shops have closed. There seems to be no clear leadership within the protest. It affects us because they have learned and they are done learning and we are still learning. So it will take us too long to learn. They are blocking road, nobody come to here. Who gonna end of day go, who gonna pay my worker? I want to ask my government. A few days ago, the municipality reported to the provincial government and various city organizations that it had already fixed some of the worst problems. But residents don't agree. Protest leaders spoke to hundreds gathered today in Raglan Road. Business leaders offered to pay for 10 taxis to drive to Bishra to visit the Premier. They refused. Our businesses are suffering and our kids are suffering and can't go to school. And that was not our intention, you see. Even now, we are driving and we will see the way forward, but I believe the shutdown has had an impact. We just need to meet and hear the way forward. Reporting on 17 June for Rhodes University's RUTV, I'm Bianca McLean.